Hello, this is Mike from NewGoldenAge.ca and I, um, I read something pretty interesting in Mother Earth News Magazine that uh, by using wood chips, sawdust, you can uh, fertilize the soil. Uh, there's certain key elements that are taken out but it can easily be put back in. But uh, what was very intriguing is that the mushroom King Strafaria was introduced to it. And uh, even the possibility of growing mushrooms during the season, during the growing season, in between, uh, whenever in the environment will allow, or possibly even force it. Uh, but then the following year, the um, mulch helped fertilize the ground, uh, yield went out, up depending on uh, what you were growing, some from 20%, uh, some even higher the following year. You also uh, brought in some uh, beneficial insects, worms, and so forth. So, um, what I'm going to do, since I have my own mushroom lab, is to grow the King Shafaria, document it, put it into one of my uh, vegetable beds, where I will put uh, plastic over top to uh, help create that high humidity environment and uh, see how we do. So today's day one, it's uh, February the 12th here in Canada, and I'm gonna go into the lab now and introduce a spawn that I created. The mycelium itself came from Mushroom Patch, mushroompatch.com. Um, I injected it into sterilized grain, and now I have sterilized a mixture of hardwood sawdust, uh, some gypsum, some bran, into a five pound uh, bag that has a, a filter for the gases to exchange. Uh, so I'm gonna go and inoculate that now and I'm gonna take you in there with me. Okay, well I'm sorry for the noise. Um, I have a big HIPAA filter that cleans the air as it comes out. I have a nice plastic shielding around it so the air comes out this way. I do have some petri dishes, I'll move out of the way. I'm actually colonizing some uh, cultures now. And the first thing I'm going to do, here is the bag that I created. I sterilized this uh, in a pressure cooker. And this is alcohol, approximately 80%. And I'm going to spray my jar down because the last thing you want is a contaminant to find its way into the bag and ruin everything. And also, I'm just going to spray the bag as well. In case there's any uh, dust or floaties on there, we don't want that to make its way in. The bag is nice and sealed tight here from the process. So I'm going to open this up. Now I can talk to you because I have this plastic screen in the way, but if it wasn't for this, trust me, you wouldn't be talking. You're contaminated. I'm going to pour this in. Save the rest for another batch if I want to. Now I'm going to impulse seal this. And make sure it's got a nice seal to it. And I want to capture some air inside there as well. There. More or less what it did is melted the bag shut. Now the spawn is laying up on top, so we want to mix it up. The bags I also got from mushroompatch.com, along with the petri dishes, pretty much any growing equipment that I have comes from that site. They're based here in Canada, but they do ship to the U.S. as well. Their uh, culture is the most reasonable. Only $25 for a syringe, where some sites want to charge you $120 for the same thing. So I'm going to mark this, the King Shafaria. Put down its uh, spawn. 
with today's date. I'm going to leave it in my lab, which is kept roughly about 82 degrees. Um, and when this grows out, I'll go to step two. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned.